Oops. There we go. Actually, let's have that here. And the stake here. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Vampire as I check the camera around, strangely. And, uh, well, hopefully today we will actually get something done in the way of, you know, combat. No more boring exposition, please. Hello! Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Uh, this room is off limits. What type limits. of hospital are you running? No antiseptics. You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Yeah, you. I like narrow streets. Alright, so last time we had a whole lot of talking to do. Just kidding. Not really. Let's go out here and hope that we at least get jumped by some vampire hunters. I doubt this is the way. No, nope, it might just be the way, actually. <laughs> Hello? Anyone out here? No. Is this an arrow street? No. Is this an arrow street? Uh, probably. Looks like a one way. Alright. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. I must stop them. Must protect the mortals. For they cannot protect thyselves, themselves. Aggravated damage. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dips. Do I hear you? I smell blood. Hello? Anyone wanna play? I have a chessboard. Only a handful of the pieces though. I got dibs on both queens. Hello? This is spooky. The tension in the air is palpable, and I get jumped out of the shadow by a ravenous vampire. Ugh. I'm not okay with having my armpits tickled. I'll have you know I'm a black belt in sitting on my butt. <laughs> oh, hi. Eesh, man. I know you're probably hungry and all, but you don't need to go that crazy. Ooh, dibs. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Hello. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Lol. You missed. 
Try again. Okay, just for that. Julia is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. That can't be good. Hello? So, they can't distinguish normal people from vampires, or they don't care, and they'll attack me and try and drain me Those just the same. Will surely grant me access to the basement. It seems. That's what? Oh, hello. Wait there a moment, I'll be right with you. This actually shift? No, it doesn't. Uh. Sorry, but I do not wish to have bite marks on me. You are not my lover. You are my enemy. And enemies do not nibble on this neck. I checked here. But what's up here? I wonder. Hello. Watery, rich blood sample. Watery? I don't think blood is supposed to be watery. If it's watery, something's diluted. And it's not me. <laughs> oh! Okay. That can't be good. That one knows how to teleport. Whoops. Okay, there's two of them. Hey, buddy. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. Uh. They're not after blood. Oh wow, he just dodged my bullet. I'm totally okay with that. Now I actually feel like I'm fighting a vampire. <laughs> and not some like ravenous super zombie. Although a super zombie is usually uh, just big. Where? Oh, hello. Ouch. Oh, there's another one. I'm sorry, I don't feel like being tagged. I've played Dark Souls. I know how to handle you. Sorry. Go ahead. You're gonna have to take a step back there, friend. Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude or anything, but you're just kind of coming off a little strong. Maybe next time we can, you know, do something. I'm totally okay with playing chess with you, but you gotta come at me at about a three. You were coming at me about at a nine. Alright, alright. <laughs> What's in here? Hello? Nothing? Okay. Ooh. I thought that was a girl. Whoops. Local investigations? Okay. City citizen investigations. You can start. Okay, it's already tracked. Cool. Uh, probable cause of death. 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 Fast progressing pneumonia. <gasps> uh, uh, sorry. By virus induced pulmonary consolidation. Spanish influenza. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Oh, hold on, let me loot. Liston knife. Blood absorb. You just acquired a new type of offhand. Flip it and press to directly absorb blood. Uh. Uh. A long and sharp surgical knife. I like it. That was here. It's locked. Uh. 
corner of the lips, open chest, damage legs and arms. Uh, let's look at the chest first. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Strange. Did somebody want his heart? Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? That is some kind of detail. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Hmm. So you are a sailor, huh? A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Whoops. This door and there's nobody in here. But it's okay, I'm used to being alone. Hello. Can we be friends? <laughs> Why doesn't it switch? I wanna drain his blood. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> kind of made that too easy for me, my friend. Anything in there? Nope. Hello? Pizza delivery? Oh, it was already here. Oops. Sorry, wrong room. Hello? Pizza delivery? I'll put it on this table for you. John Doe. Oh, are you the teleporting one? Here, hold that. Holy shit! What the? What the? Here, hold this. Okay, so every time he teleports, he gets. Okay. Here, hold this. Not a taste of my own medicine. Ow! <laughs> Joke's on you. I know what I'm doing. God, I feel like I'm in Twilight. <laughs> Ow. That is a weak heal. These Sorry, scars buddy. can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Yeah, of course. Drink you. blood is so tempting. Well, drink it! Just don't get out of hand. We don't need another epidemic, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I made that dramatic sound. <laughs> Ooh. I'm done. Ugh. Anything here? Nope. Damn. Alright. Never mind the noise, officers. The man just wanted to share some of his pizza with me, and we kind of went crazy on that thing. You don't want to see it. It. Okay, I'm not hallucinating. Hi! Come on over! Ow. I'm gonna need to get blood somehow. 
so that means that I'm going to have to unequip. Put that there, and then put the stick over it so that I can reliably stun, so I can drink. I don't know why I made that sound. Sorry. Hello? I saw you. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna need you to come out into the hall with me. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Joke's on you. I read you like an open book. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Holy crap. And it's saying that there's another objective upstairs, so... What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh. Vaccines. And now we must... Outside. I hate going outside. It burns my flesh. Is this the door out? Out in it. The evolution. Hello. Bullets. <gasps> Holy crap, they are everywhere. You need to like take a step back. Holy crap! I gotta clean off these streets. I'm, I'm sorry, objective and audience, whenever somebody actually watches these. Uh, I must have my priorities straight, and I am a doctor, so I must help people. And by helping people, I mean stopping any chance of them getting, getting eaten. Oh no! That's my blood, you dirt! Give me it back! It's mine! Thank you! Keep your grubby paws off my blood! You went in here? Hello, hello! Tasty mortal! My neck is already extended. No? Damn. Tough crowd. How's a guy supposed to get a date around here? Mm-hmm. Hello? Ugh. There's nothing up here? What a wasted trip. Oh, hello. <laughs> What a dramatic entrance. Just a slice of the meat. Eh, <laughs> jokes on you. I'm gonna need some blood. <laughs> I scream. Go ahead. Make your move. Go ahead. Ow, how'd you slice me? Lol. Alright, I guess that's most of them. So, we'll go in here. Hello? Anyone home? Pizza delivery? Oh! Okay. We're good. Hey! How are you doing? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? 
My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. <gasps> are you doing anything later? Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I see. I I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. <laughs> Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Garden near the morgue? The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Nonsense. I shall protect thee. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Tell me how you feel. Please, <laughs> describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Oh, oops. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Hercroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a ghost or a ghoul. Or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Well, I got a hint, so... Let's... Sure. I got a hint! What the hell? Alright. Thelma is affected by Cotard's syndrome and delusion. Oh, yeah, that's a hint. <laughs> I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Although you can meet me up in my room anytime you want. <laughs> wink, wink. I must rest to evolve, apparently. You can't evolve while awake. Let's see what goes on here. Watery rich blood sample. An enigmatic formula. This formula written on a piece of paper seems complex. It seems it needs to be analyzed. Analyze it! Yeah. Okay. Craft the treatment for fatigue. It has been crafted. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane. No, 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 
He almost looks like a descendant of Voldemort. He didn't have a nose. Not really, anyway. Hi! I got Finally, your drugs. you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea <clears throat> in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Blood quality. Disease decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct message. What do I get to actually like ugh, I am having a massive brain fart. Do I actually get to manipulate the Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. My brain only works halfway. <laughs> I get to manipulate them so I get more blood out. Damn, I don't know. I need to read a book or something. Sheesh. Alright, well, we've run out of time for this episode. And, uh... <laughs> Thank you for watching. We actually got something done today. And there was a, a decent amount of combat. So, we we got our bloods, or... We got our blades bloody. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. I will see you next time, and hopefully there will be more chaos to be done. Bye.